So we're gonna hit the range. Try to get me something to eat real quick. Get right. Um, I'm gonna definitely take out the P10C so we can do the review on that. Um, bad boy right here. Let's get that to focus. Boom, there we go. Definitely gonna take her out. Um, I say get the review, get some good shooting footage um, of her. She is cleared. Um, but yeah, I got little Blackhawk bags that I put my pistols in. Um, some big ones and some small ones. Um, that's the Shadow Systems bag. I always put her in there. Um, she's definitely going. Uh, we'll put the P10C in here. Uh, what else should we take? What else should we take? Um, I can't take the 44 mag. I really want to, but I can't shoot it at Eagle One. Um, yeah, they don't go for the big boy uh, <laughs> calipers in there, so we ain't gonna do that. Uh, should we take the 40? Uh, um, nah, we won't take her. I may Ooh. just give y'all a pretty good review on this one. Let's go ahead and take her too. So boom, we're gonna run these two. Um, oh yeah, we do got mags. Oh, and I got mags for PL1 loaded up already. That's the 17 rounder that I got and another 15. Um, this one's running hollows. Um, whew, probably shoot some uh, just cause it's loaded up already. Just gonna shoot those. Um, these are coming out. <laughs> Um, what's in here? The other P10C mag. Um, critical defense. Oh, that's a good mixture in there. I guess I'll shoot one of these just because, um, you know, like I said, I always like to shoot hollows. But yeah, these coming out um, of that one. And we got Shadow Systems. La, la, la. My baby, my baby. Boom, boom. Um, I think... Yeah, she's empty already. So boom, we're gonna put her in her bag. You go here, you go here. Mags. Um, here's the, where I keep all my other mags. <clears throat> oh, Shadow Systems mags loaded up already. Um, That's the clock mag for it. Uh, should I shoot hollows? Let's shoot some hollows through the Shadow Systems. Um, and these are the P10C mags. Throw those in there like that. Um, I said I was gonna, I don't know if I wanna shoot hollows through her. So we gonna boom, throw her in there. Um, I said I would shoot one through, oh, that's the PL1 mags. That's P10C mags. We gonna pop these out, P10C mag, because I'm not shooting for so many hollows. They're getting pretty, uh, um, I'll say cost effective now. Um, they're pretty good, decently priced, uh, just depending on what you're looking for. I know on what website, but everything is kind of getting pretty decently priced, man. So, um, yeah, I think we'll leave everything else. That's the uh, 40, that's the Glock 21, that's the King. So, um, I like it, but it's just kind of like a range toy. Like, I, I may go have fun with it, may not, but whatever. There's ammo in here. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> All right. We got ammo in here. <laughs> and I'm about a 1,000 rounds, 900, something like that. Uh, it's some in here as well um, that I yeah, probably just filled this up. And we, I'm going to go downstairs and we'll talk some more. And I'm going to load up some mags um, while I talk y'all head off. Um, but, yeah, man, I think that's everything we're going to take. Got to get the mag loader. This is key to any range uh, trip. I see guys complain about loading up, and I'm like, yo, everybody talks about being gun guys and stuff, and you don't have a mag loader? Yo, you tripping, so gotta have that. So then we gonna load up as many as we can. I think I'm missing some uh, mag pull mags up a G. I thought I had five right now. I don't know, I gotta look around and see where, uh, I'm looking in, in the kitchen like I'm gonna find it in here. Um, um, give me one second, I gotta go find my other mag pull mags cause uh, I can't go out like that. And I have splatter targets that I'm taking with me cause I'm tired of shooting the paper ones and after a while you can't tell nothing with it. So boom, like I knew that I had two more P mags and uh, shoot. splatter targets. See? Um, I only got two. I thought I had some more. Uh, I know I have some more. Uh, they're just scattered around here somewhere. 
Um, but yeah, splatter targets, heat mags, load these up. And I have one more, like a basic target. Uh, I'm not sure where this came from, but that's what we're doing. Took our own stuff to the range, save some money, which um, Eagle One really don't charge me uh, much when I go, if they charge me. Shout out to my guys at Eagle One. She's got an MO in her. We're just going to... Uh -oh. Throw some of that in there. That's a pretty, <laughs> pretty bad. I'm doing this vlog style just because, man, like I said, I got some extra time. Um, and my good people at Eagle One, they don't mind me, you know, when I come in and record and I do my thing, they know what's up. So they appreciate it and I appreciate them. So, yeah, man, we're going to get everything wrapped up. Uh, and, yeah, we'll probably... Uh, Meet y'all at the range because it's raining outside, so we got to get where we're going safely. So, yeah, I'll holler at y'all shortly, man. All right, we're ready. Got everything we need. Door number one. That one's closed. Door number two. I believe we're the only ones in here. Yeah. Lane five. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, we don't know what's here today, baby. Eagle one, my people. Let's get set up real quick. P10C. This is why I, I I think I'm stick with irons, man. I love a you know nice looking red dot the way they look, but um this bad boy. <laughs> Let me show y'all this target. Man. Do you see that? And that's 17 shots, man. 17 shots in there. Um, that's a that's two and one right there. That's one. But y'all heard me when I did my double up, I mean, my follow-up shots. Whoo, P10C, damn, y'all see that. <laughs> Door number one, we got two. Sadly, I only got two mags for this thing. I uh, don't know why I haven't purchased more. Um, I'm actually considering making this like an EDC weapon. Um, I don't really like the threaded barrel for EDC and I would get the flat, um, flat base uh, mags on here just because I don't necessarily need it like that. And for concealment purposes, with the uh, without the base on there, it'd be much nicer. So the sights on here are suppressor height or, you know, technical height. But again, man, really like the pistol, but I'm so just gonna see what we can do with it and what we can change around with it. Pretty decent and on target with this thing, man. Y'all see I got one more mag with the shadow system. See if I can match anything close to uh, what I've been doing with the CZ P10C with the red dot and everything. We're gonna see what we can do, man. Um, I really enjoy just the, everything about the P10C. We're just gonna see if we can hit a few shots that might, might look like something. So again, man, we had a few that maybe went astray just on some follow-up shots, but I mean, considering it's on the big target, that's the big one up there, and that's what we're shooting at. I'm not mad, especially with my CZP-10 working here. And there's probably shadow systems too with that red that I was aiming right down the middle. So, hey, I'm not mad at that, man. Pretty decent shot if you ask me. 
Um, again, not marksmanship, but I ain't mad at it. It's flat a target, but I'm gonna bring y'all to CZP01. My Omega, man, she is uh, really like shooting her. Love my baby. <laughs> We're gonna run it out to like seven yards, maybe five, or about six yards, see what we can do. I'm gonna try to aim at a little different spot on the target, but we just gonna see what we're doing, man. We're just having fun, that's all. Ooh, that single action or something, Chris. We'll be ready. to tell y'all man this is my baby love shooting her think i'm gonna take this red dot off because i have not got it sighted in and i cannot hit what i'm trying to hit this bad boy right here so much softer so much better feels so much better in the hands um i don't know man i told you i might make this like edc option switch a few things around on it get a nice holster but p10c for the win really really enjoying this thing so yeah, man, at, at right now, at this moment, probably favorite pistol, honestly. Probably favorite, so. Uh, hold on, which one? On the staccato? Yeah, I had that hollow sun on here because it's got that cut out. Oh. So um, I took the hollow sun off and I put it on my 34 and I put the rear, the, rec, the factory rear sights, sights back, back on, on there, here. Yeah. And I wanted to make sure they were still lined up before I shoot it in, in the next competition. Sheesh. Nice. I'm trying to get my red dot sighted in, but I, I'm about to give up on it. Why? <laughs> I like it, but I, with my irons, I, I've been, you know, testing, and I'm like, yo, I'm dead on with my irons, and I feel the same. This way. red dot is kind of blowing me a little bit. Staccato, 2011. Y'all see it? Coworker, he just retired from UPS. Luckily, he's living a good life. We're gonna shoot this bad boy too. Crib, man. Um, had a pretty good time at the range. Uh, ran through maybe, I don't know, about 200, 250 rounds, something like that. Um, like I said, had a pretty good time. Got to shoot so I can do my reviews for y'all and get that stuff finalized. Um, ran into, again, uh, old driver um, from UPS. He's retired now. He had his daughter with him. Um, they were shooting. Got to get my hands on that Staccato, that 2011. That thing was super nice. Um, he had the Glock 19. Um, with like a, a, it was a pyramid trigger. Never heard of them. Pyramid trigger, uh, KKM barrel in it that looked pretty nice. He said he can do work on um, anything that involves a Glock, anything that's got to do with a Glock. So um, definitely gonna get with him. He talked to me about some uh, doing some matches and some shooting, um, a spot that he goes to about 30 minutes from where I live. He said even he'd even come and pick me up. So um, definitely gonna have to take him up on that offer. offer. Um, got to get me some gear, you know, like a belt, um, a, you know, a nice outside the waistband holster, mag carriers. Start getting into that stuff, that tactical dad, you know, that tactical training um, situation. And, um, you know, trying to start going in that direction is something I want to get into. And honestly, I've come to learn that guns connect people, man. Um, this stuff is fun. This stuff is a good hobby for us. It's a sport um, to a certain extent. So, again, I'm not mad at the connections that I've made. Um, I just so happened to hear him say staccato and I walked over there and I was like, dang, bro, you, this what you rocking with? So, um, yeah, like I said, that was fun, man. Good, good to always, you know, meet somebody and run into somebody, um, that is into guns and shares the same, you know, common, um, you know, love for, for these things as well. So, um, like I said, had a good time at the range. Shout out to Sam, shout out to Perry. Um, they know what it is, man. They always talking junk, but um, you know, they're, they're my people, man. So uh, shout out to them. They had the Glock 47 in there. They had a um, Gen 5 um, Glock 20 in there, the 10 millimeter, the MOS version. That had a pretty good price on it, man. He was, he was trying to get me to come up out my watch for it. And I don't know if I was having that. I got the new uh, Apple Watch Ultra. So yeah, he, they've been looking at that ever since I came in there. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this video together for y'all, man. Um, I appreciate y'all watching. Um, I appreciate all the support. And like I said, I'm coming to y'all, man, trying to get this stuff together, be better. You can see video coming for y'all, the review on that. 
Um, what else I'm gonna do? What else I'm gonna do? I got oh I got another little shooting compilation I did. I'll probably drop that just as you know, just as some content for y'all to uh, you know enjoy and for me to just put more stuff out. And my guy Rick, I gotta I'll bring y'all another update video, man. I'm going to my guy Rick tomorrow um, to go pick up something new. He's about to shut down, unfortunately. Um, due to health issues. He's doing okay, but he got to relieve some stress. And I guess the store is definitely probably a big stressor on him. Um, so, you know, I went and talked to him last week, but I'm gonna go pick up something new. I got a 1911 that he's holding for me, um, but I had options when I went in there, man. It's a lot of options. He's got like 60 uh, handguns that he's trying to get rid of. Um, he's gonna sell to some dealers, but he really wants to let go to customers. Um, if I had worked a little bit more, if I'd have worked last Saturday, man, I'd definitely be going to grab probably two guns from him. Um, but, you know, I'm just stick to this one um, and, you know, just be responsible. But I got to show him some love before he heads up out of here. And I I, I don't have an inside connect on, on on the guns anymore, which I do. But, you know, like I said, I, Rick is my guy, man. So I'll see him tomorrow. But yeah, man, again, I appreciate y'all watching, man. I got more videos coming. Got plenty to talk about. So again, love, man. I appreciate y'all.